everyone. I'm Christy Morrow from Carolina Forest Elementary. Today, we'll be exploring the basics of Poplet through the free Poplet Light app. It is a great and easy to use app that allows students to think and learn visually through creating simple graphic organizers. With Poplet, learners can capture facts, thoughts, and ideas in different ways and immediately connect and visualize the relationships between them by viewing their screen. Poplet Lite is very easy to use once the app is downloaded. Click on the app to get started. Inside, you can see that the screen is very simple. Many students will wanna start by changing the color of their black background. To do this, they can click the square and a list of colors will come up. Once the background color is selected, students will start creating their poplet by adding popples or the bubbles that they will be adding their information to. To create a poplet or a popple, they'll have to double click the screen and their popple will come up. The popple can be easily manipulated and moved around the screen, but for most of the time, you're going to leave it in the middle. You will notice the popple has some shapes and tools around the outside of it. The black squares will allow you to increase and decrease the size of the popple. At the bottom of the popple, you will see a rectangle that will allow you to change the color of the popple. You will see the typing or texting feature, which allows students to type inside of the box. The next is the pen tool, which students can again choose the color and then write inside of the box. And the last one is a picture, which will allow students to either insert a picture that's already in their camera roll or take a new photo. Now that we've gone over the basics of the tools, let's start by creating a very simple popple. Inside, I am gonna type in the number 10. You can see on the right hand side that I'm able to decrease or increase the size of the text. I'm going to leave it big for today. Around the outside of the popple, there are four gray circles. These gray circles are called linkers. In the light version of Poplet, students will be able to add four linkers to their main popple. I am going to show you how to add four linkers to this popple and to use the different kinds of features at the bottom so that students can use a variety of different tools to show their work. For the first linker, I'm going to click on the gray circle and for this name for 10, I am going to type in a name. So we'll type in 3 plus 7 to show a name for 10. Now if I want to move this these popples over and put them in the center, I'm going to touch on the screen and I can move it around and manipulate it and while those pieces are together. <clears throat> to add my next linker, I'm going to click on the main box and I will tap another gray circle. This time I am going to write in another name for 10. I'm going to select a new color and I'm going to show tallies this time to show a name for 10. Once I'm done inside of that popple, I can click back onto the background of the screen and it takes me back to the beginning. I'll center it again and then click on my main popple. I'm going to click on the linker again. This time I think I'm going to use the keyboard to do some emoji adding. So I'll add my emojis and we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six strawberries plus four blueberries to show another name for 10. Again, if I want to change the size of this popple, I'll click on the rectangle and use those arrows to pull it out. Once I have it pulled out, I can also slide it over so that it's not on top of my main popple. To move this again, I will touch the background of the screen and recenter it if I would like to. And now I'm going to click the main popple again and I'm going to click a linker and I'm going to add another name for 10. This time I'm going to write out the name 
or number word for 10. Now that I have all of my popples filled up, I can go to the gear, click on select all popple, and this will allow me to squeeze the popple in to make it smaller or push the popple out to make it bigger. Once my poplet is exactly how I want it, students can click export and save their image. It says that the image is successfully loaded into the library and this is a great way that students can show their accountability by saving their work. If I click out of my app and go into my camera roll, you can see that the work that they just created is saved inside of their app. It's important to save their work because it will not save itself. If students want to start another poplet, all they have to do is hit clear all, click clear all again, and it will take them back to the beginning so that they can start creating a new poplet. Thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you have the chance to explore some more with Poplet and that you're able to use it in your classroom. Don't forget to follow, subscribe, and like us on our social media platforms.